I'm calling this right now. In a few years' time, Jordan Peele will be the next James Wan. I'm calling it right now. Us. Us follows this family, played by Lupita Nyong'o and Winston Duke. And basically what this movie is, is Lupita Nyong'o and Winston Duke, they just moved into a new house in Santa Cruz. And then one night, all of a sudden, another family of four shows up. And this family of four turns out to be basically evil doppelgangers of themselves. And so Lupita Nyong'o and Winston Duke and their, fi and their two children... They have to figure out where these doppelgangers came from, and basically, like, how every, like, what what is happening. They basically have to figure out what's going on. That's the best way I could put it without giving away too much, because I feel like this is a movie that the less you know, the better. So let's get into Jordan Peele's Us. So for those of you that don't know, if you haven't seen my most anticipated movies of 2019, then Us was number 9 on that list. I was really looking forward to it. It was my most anticipated horror film of the year, mainly because of Jordan Peele. Jordan Peele did Get Out back in 2017, which is a horror movie that I really enjoyed. So I was looking forward to see what he would do with this movie. And I gotta say, I really, really, really liked Us. I thought it was a fantastic horror movie. First off, the performances. The main standouts here are Lupita Nyong'o and uh, Winston Duke. They were awesome in this movie, especially Lupita Nyong'o. A lot of people are talking about maybe getting a potential Oscar nomination. I do think it's a little early in the year, but I mean, right now, I would definitely agree that... She could very well be nominated for Best Actress. I mean, Daniel Kaluuya was nominated for Get Out, so, I mean, why not? But, yeah, we'll see. But, yes, I, she, she's, she does a really good job not only playing as herself, but playing as her doppelganger as well. Like, I thought, like, basically all the actors in this movie had to play two versions of themselves. Like, it, that's basically how it is. Winston Duke, yeah, Winston Duke's kind of the comic relief of this movie, and I thought he was really good. I thought his jokes were timed really well. Not all the humor lands, but for the most part, the humor really does land. I don't think it's quite as funny as Get Out, but it's still funny nonetheless. And, like, the tension that this movie brings. This movie's a horror film, so, is it sp so it's supposed to be scary. And I'm happy to say that this movie is very scary. Especially starting about... A third of the way through the movie when the family actually does show up like fr from the point the family shows up until the end of the movie it's just a roller coaster ride of scares thrills everything a horror movie should have yeah it's it's the exact type of suspense a horror movie should have in this movie so yeah I thought that was really well done Jordan Peele did a really good job directing this thing and just the way the camera moves as well. The cinematography is just amazing in this movie. And yeah, M. Night Shyamalan, take notes. This is how you do, like, stylistic shots. And this is how you do horror shots and suspense shots, thriller shots, whatever you want to call it. This is how you do that kind of cinematography well. Okay? Yeah, not your, like, upside down, flip over the right side up garbage that you did in glass. So, yeah. And another thing about this movie is its score. Holy hell, it is it is chilling. And I mean chilling. This score is something that's going to stay in my head for a while because, whew, yeah, definitely not something that I'm going to forget. Also, the way this movie's edited, I thought it was done really well. And just like some of the other characters as well. There's not there's not very many characters. It mainly just follows the four families or, or the, main, the four members of this family. But I thought they were done done well and just the unpredictability of this film like I thought like my main problem with Get Out was that it was a little bit predictable toward the end but us like us kind of like it's like Jordan Peele took notes from that and fixed it and I thought he did that really well speaking of the ending the ending to this movie was something that I was not expecting at all there's a couple of problems I do have with it which again I will get to but 
just the way this movie ends. It's not expected, and it's very haunting, too. It's like, okay, that's how it... All right. But, yeah, obviously I can't really get into it too much without spoiling it. So, yeah, the ending to this movie was very haunting, very chilling. Just This movie as a whole was a thrill ride from start to finish. That's the best way I can put it. I do have a couple of smaller problems with this movie. One is that, much like Get Out, this movie is a bit slow to start. It takes about 30 minutes or so for everything to be set up and be like ready for the roller coaster to start. Like, it's kind of like a roller coaster. Like, you know how you have the climb up the chain lift and all that? This movie's kind of like that. Get Out's kind of like that. It, it can be a bit slow and a bit tedious. But I mean, it's not really a huge problem. It's just a minor nitpick. Another, another couple small problems I have is while they explain everything for the most part, there's a couple things that were left unexplained and they don't quite make a lot of sense. But again, I can't really say what they are without spoiling the film. So yeah, once you see the movie, you might understand a little bit more. And maybe I miss some things. Maybe I do need to see the movie again which I do plan on doing. But yeah, there were just a couple things that had to do with mainly the twist ending. There are a couple there are a couple things that felt really that felt unexplained or just unclear. Nothing metaphorical or anything like mother, but just a couple things like that that I just did, that maybe I missed. But yeah, it did, it did take a little bit out of the film for me. So despite the, the small problems I had with this movie, overall, Us, I thought was a great horror movie, horror film. Great for Jordan Peele's second installment, and I'm happy to say that Jordan Peele so far is two for two. And I hope he keeps making movies, because he does well. Now, you might be wondering, is this better than Get Out? Not quite. I think Get Out, I think I like Get Out a little bit better, but nonetheless, this is still a very fun thrill ride, very good horror movie overall. That being said, I'm going to give Us an 84% certified fresh rating. That is an A-. Alright, so there's my review of Us. Have you guys seen it? What did you think about it? Make sure to let me know down in the comments below what you thought of it. And what's your favorite horror movie of the decade so far? Is it this one? Is it Get Out? Is it something like The Conjuring? Make sure to let me know in the comments. And also let me know, did you like this movie better than Get Out? Or did you like Get Out better? So, yeah, make sure to let me know. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more reviews to come in the future. Not really sure what I'm going to do next. I might not review another movie until Shazam comes out. I actually forgot what comes out next weekend, but yeah, I do apologize for the lack of reviews lately. I haven't really seen too many movies, so, but yeah, I will bring some more videos in the future. I should try and get on doing some, like, survivor videos, maybe some more baseball-related videos, but yeah, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content to come in the future, and until next time, once again, my name is the California Cougar, and always remember, stay California cool. Peace.